enjoy this one. 20 minutes on the big board. Spartans will have the opening tap, and they'll control possession. Also keep an eye on the battle on the inside between Carlos Dotson of Western Carolina and James Dickey of UNCG. That's uh, kind of an X factor tonight, how those uh, two play for their respective squads. Long triple by Galloway is no good. Otto Steger tracks down the rebound for Western Carolina. So one and done. Catamounts keep the Spartans off the boards on the opening salvo. There's that matchup you mentioned, and of course it's not going to be Dickey, it's Galloway. And how about Anno Steger getting free? He can't connect down low, but they are going to count it. They said hand got tangled up in the net, so they will get the basket to Anno Steger down low. And Anno Steger is one of those guys that can be an X factor. I think on the other side you've got Caleb Hunter that could turn into an X factor for this UNCG squad. Malik Massey running the point, another one of those guys that could find a way to score some points. But Anno Steger has been a big uh, catalyst for Western Carolina here in this season. Well, he scored in the paint on that basket interference, but uh, he's really more uh, established as a three-point shooter as you see the nice mid-range floater as the Spartans are on the board. Isaiah Miller, and here's that zone pressure defense trying to force the Catamounts into some turnovers, a team that was very turnover prone a year ago. Mark Prosser's squad has really cleaned that up here in the 2019-2020 season. There's that matchup we talked about, Dotson against Dickey, and there's Isaiah Miller. One of the things we talked about is how he goes and gets steals, has a big one there, turns it into a transition bucket, trying to get it to fall, battling underneath. Last touch by Miller. Western Carolina will get it. So good recovery after he had his pocket picked in Mason Faulkner. So Western Carolina trying to get their offense, as we mentioned, off to a fast start. It really makes a difference for this team how they play in the opening minutes of a game. And uh, going back to Anno Steger, one stat that was eye-popping when I was uh, looking at the numbers for this game, 59% the young man shooting from three-point range as they cut him out, Matt Halverson out of the corner. And Matt Halverson, one of the top three-point shooters in the Southern Conference, making close to three of those per ball game on average this year. But Steger, 59% in conference play from three-point range. Man-to-man -man defense primarily for Mark Prosser. The freshman, Trey McCray, drawing Isaiah Miller, who raises up. Three-point shot won't go. Dotson boxing out Dickey. Key tonight if the Catamounts are going to have any success against the Spartans. Dotson tried to revert back to his left hand there in transition. He'll be at the free throw line and just 53% from the stripe on the year. Left some points there in that game against Wofford, a game that could have been stretched out, maybe been, could have been put away a few moments earlier. Saw the freshman Trevion McRae getting some minutes after the injury to Cameron Gibson, who had started most of the games throughout the early part of the schedule, but suffered a lower body injury recently, and he's uh, he's on the shelf now for the Catamounts. Dotson two for two from the strike. Western Carolina off to the good start. 7-2, five-point lead. Early going, Hunter getting free. Halverson flies by, and he lays it up and in easily. Caleb Hunter, 10 points per game, and you saw the nice post play to pull Greensboro back within three. And the key right now, the Catamounts, after made baskets by the Spartans, they're able to get that full court press on in a big time way. There's Steger from the left side. That three misses everything. Talk about 50 plus percent from beyond the arc in conference play. Struggled a year ago against UNCG. Was 0 for 6 against the tight Spartan defense. And the two meetings last year from long range. Only averaged 4.5 points per game in those two conference meetings here in Green, here in Cullowee and also down in Greensboro. Eight on the shot clock. Down to four. Dickey goes to work against Dotson. Gets to the midline. Shot is up. That one doesn't hit the rim, but the Catamounts board the miss. And good defensive stand by Western Carolina. Halverson finds Faulkner. Three ball long from the corner, won't go. Galloway free, he'll launch a triple, will not fall. Dickey's got the edge because in transition was gonna comment. Good look by Carlos Dotson who was caught under the basket, could not get back in time to get with James Dickey. Pointed at Anno Steger, who pointed back at him. They knew they were going to switch who had the big man Dickey down low. And, of course, they get the up-and-over foul on James Dickey, who goes to the bench. 
or actually uh, stays in. They take Malik Massey out, and Keyshawn Langley checks in. Saw Halverson with the head fake on that near three-point shot. He's a streaky three-point shooter, this time off the mark. Got his first one, can't get that one to fall. Got him out, so got to stop Isaiah Miller, who charges through Travion McCray. Trey McCray getting the start you mentioned in place of the injured Cameron Gibson. The freshman is thriving in that role, and the offensive foul turns it back over. Catamounts will go to the bench as they get a replay of this one again. There you see this is the shoulder occupying space, getting to the spot first, and then the slight lower of the shoulder by Isaiah Miller. McCray, one of the several outstanding freshmen for the Catamounts this season. Great pass up and under. Mason Faulkner, how did he see Xavier Court getting free underneath? Speaking of freshmen, there's a freshman out of Texas, Xavier Cork on that basket down low for the Catamounts. Cork in for Carlos Dotson, see if the Spartans are able to work it inside to the upperclassman James Dickey working against the youngster. Instead, it's Langley left side, three won't go. Rebound picked up, and right now the Catamounts doing a really good job. One and done, no offensive rebounds for the Spartans for second chance opportunities. Just about five minutes gone by here, first half action. Faulkner gets a step, takes it to the hole, lays it up and in. Timeout taken by Wes Miller as Mason Faulkner swimming his way down the lane, gets the deuce against the shot blocking James Dickey down low. What a drive, what a penetration by Mason Faulkner and the Catamounts out to the early lead, 11-4 as we get to our under 16 timeout. The Spartans have taken it. Catamounts lead, 15-17 to go here. Mason Faulkner to the 10, lays it up and in. Oh, you think these guys will ever drive the lane? They should call the neighbor boy who mows Dorothy's lane. <laughs> no game game, like in the paint. Oh, he painted her shed too. Hang on, I'm gonna call Dorothy. Eat your sandwiches. Oh. Mm -mm. And drink your milk. Have a basketball question? Go to an expert. Have a truck rental, leasing, or logistics question? Go to the experts at Penske. They'll keep your business moving forward. Dorothy! It's that time. Time for the foods that feed your will to win. And when it comes to the sweet taste of victory, only one store has what you need to bring home the banner. It's time to remember why we play. <laughs> Did we win? Nah, we got cream. They are enjoying the Ingles snacks, though. Ingles, the official sponsor of Post Game Snacks. I have a younger daughter who is two and a half right now. I must remain active. I teach skiing and snowboarding, kayaking. I'm used to always being active. I was really dealing with a good deal of pain. I was obviously limping at work. I'm a little younger than most people that get both hips replaced. When I got this done, it was fantastic. The day I woke up, I was like, wow, it is nice to be out of that pain. Uh, I just turned 50, and um, I will be snowboarding this winter. Fifteen seventeen to go, first half action. Western Carolina head coach Mark Prosser in his second season in Cullowee. Got his team off to 13 wins, looking to try to double up last year's win total of seven if his squad could pull off the win here tonight. Western Carolina off to a hot shooting performance here, 57%, four of seven from the floor, while the uh, Spartans off to a two of eight shooting stat. That's 25%. Western Carolina right now enjoying their biggest lead here in the early going. Mohamed Abdul Salam into the game. Left side, three ball good as Angelo Allegri, sophomore out of Kansas City, Missouri, tickles the twine from downtown. Yeah, he had an outstanding freshman campaign last year for Wes Miller and the Spartans, and that was medicine right there for UNCG. Travion McCray trying to answer, can't. Rebound tapped out by Cork, trying to get it to a teammate, but again, the Catamounts were leaking back on defense, understanding this transition game of UNCG. Spartans, one of the top defensive teams in the entire country. Yeah, you look at that discrepancy. Teams. 
Western Carolina averaging 81 points per game, number 13 in the nation. And the Spartans only giving up 59 points per game. This is really going to be interesting to see how the scoreboard reads at tonight's conclusion. Entry pass to Cork, who goes up, can't finish. Rebound picked up inside, one and done. Allegri with the off uh, defensive board to get it to the offensive end. And Isaiah Miller quickly. And just like that, the Kennemount lead has evaporated down to two. Miller second in the conference in scoring, right behind Faulkner. Two of the top guards, two of the top big men. As Trey McRae shots no good, and a foul going to be called on Xavier Cork underneath. And again, now the hot start over the first five minutes, and right now a well-timed timeout taken by Wes Miller has allowed the Spartans to claw right back in it. And will have an opportunity to tie on this possession or take their first lead. Isaiah Miller checks out for UNCG. Yeah, since the Spartans dialed up that timeout, a 5-0 run by UNCG. 13 and a half to go, first half action. Deshaun Langley, outstanding freshman. Galloway looking for the lead, can't connect. Rebound battled for Western Carolina trying to save it two times, and neither one able to come up with it, neither Mason Faulkner nor Tyler Harris. Spartans will get it back with five on the shot clock. Has no true possession held by either side. So they're going to look at here. They are going to reset it to 20. For Western Carolina, Daniel a key game not only to move up the standings, but when you look at the schedule ahead for Western Carolina after this one tonight, it gets very difficult as far as hitting the road in, in February. Four of the next five for the Catamounts will be played away from Cullowhee. And in this league, as is most every league, you need to take care of your home court to try to steal a game or two on the road. Langley trying to work around Matt Halverson. Gets a step free. Six to shoot. Galloway puts it on the floor. Back to Malik Massey. His shot partially blocked. Rebound picked up by Carlos Dotson. And again, after missed buckets or turnovers, they can't get that same pressure defense on. Big block by Galloway at the rim. Catamounts will get it back, though. Dotson goes to work, and he's going to be fouled by Mohamed Abdul Salam, the sophomore from Nigeria. Yeah, beautiful play defensively by Kyren Galloway. Mason Faulkner checks out for the Catamounts as Dotson battles down low. And, of course, Mark Prosser looking for the first bucket. And close to three minutes. And kick ball here. We'll keep it at 18 on the clock. Two and a half plus minutes. The Catamounts have not been able to score in UNCG in the meantime. As Jeff alluded to a moment ago, five straight points. Opening five minutes, kind of frantic pace back and forth, but this one's now slowed almost into the wheelhouse of UNCG. Steger, left side three, that one won't go. Offensive rebound, Dotson, and he's hammered as he goes up with a shot down underneath. So Abdul Salam picks up the personal foul, his second. And the refs may want to take a look at the net on the Western Carolina rim as since that early basket interference. Yeah, kind of been cattywampus. Key thing for the Catamounts would be to put the basketball through it. That would help. That would help the net. But they have not done so in or, uh, three minutes. Just getting an assist from Galloway to straighten it out. So that problem was e easily solved as... Dotson back at the free throw line, but uh, Carlos would agree he needs much assistance there and a, a nice free throw uh, by Carlos Dotson. One of two on that exchange. Shot by Allegri, no good. Rebound picked up by McCray, and again the Catamounts look to run. Tyler Harris in transition with a fingertip roll. Freshman to freshman, McCray to Harris. Lob inside, James Dickey. Finds Massey, who was spotting for the three. That amounts good man-to-man -man pressure defense. 
Massey raises up top of the key, can't connect, but an offensive rebound by Hunter. 20-second reset. I got the mismatch here, Dickey on Ono Steger. Steger backing his way down. Corner three good by Galloway. They didn't get the bucket where the mismatch was down low. They got it on Dotson, not straying too far into the corner to pick up Galloway for the triple. And the Spartans only shooting 28% from the floor here over the opening nine minutes of the game, but find themselves only down by two points. Dotson underneath can't get it to roll. And again, the Catamount's able to exploit the underneath mismatch with Dotson working against underneath against Caleb Hunter. 6'4", 190, not going to be able to handle Carlos Dotson, who is tipping the scales these days at close to three, uh, 250, 260 for Western Carolina. Two-point ball game, 11.28 to go here in the first half. After this three by Galloway for UNCG. The sun is rising as the day begins. Time for reflecting on family and friends. <laughs> the dang woodchucks. Geico sequels. The savings keep on going. At tax time, big wireless companies play games to lock you into a pricey contract. Don't play. Straight Talk now has the Samsung Galaxy A10e for just 99 bucks on America's best networks for up to half the cost and no contract. Straight Talk Wireless. Showtime. Oh. It's all about number seven. It's all about Vic. It's a new day. Vic turned himself in today. I wanted to know the truth. I took advantage of the moment. We all did. It's an amazing thing where love will take you, the road you'll travel, the lengths to which you'll go. Introducing a new podcast, ESPN Daily, hosted by me, Mina Kimes. Go deeper into the stories of the moment. Get the exclusive access and insider perspective that only ESPN can give you. ESPN Daily. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. Two-point ball game here, 14 to 12. Wes Miller, the head coach for UNCG, in his ninth season on the bench in Greensboro, 157 career wins after taking over as the interim head coach in the 2011-2012 season. Of course, named head coach there in 2012, been there ever since. Yeah, he had a lot of success when he was a player at UNC Chapel Hill and uh, won a national championship there with Coach Roy Williams in 2005 and then uh, really turned this program around when he took over back uh, in the early part of this decade, Daniel, and uh, what he did in 2018, went all the way to the Southern Conference Tournament Championship and got his team into the NCAA Tournament. Talking with some of the staff members, very happy with what Wes Miller has done with this UNCG program year in, year out. This program, these Spartans are among the contenders for the Southern Conference as Isaiah Miller jump shot right side. He's starting to heat up for UNCG. Well, you talk about this this team, the, the the success they've had, you really look at the senior class, and they've been the winningest senior class in UNCG history. Right side, three ball in transition, won't fall. Miller gets the offensive board. Mason Faulkner will be called for the foul down low after the offensive rebound that was all stemming because of picking up the ball and coming up the floor. Double team got there. The pass out of it was knocked away and stolen. Isaiah Miller out of Covington, Georgia at the free throw line. If there is one bugaboo about his game, it's his free throw shooting. Only 54% for Miller at the stripe. Yeah, 46 of 85 on the year, and that one just off the mark. But when Wes Miller looks down the sideline, Daniel, he has some catamount uh, familiar faces over there with Tom Tankowitz, the director of basketball operations, and Andre Gray, who is a former assistant here in Cullowee. Second free throw good by Miller, and 
immediately races up the floor. Now a little different look here with James Dickey running the front of that 1-2-2 zone. Catamounts beat it up the floor with Otto Steger. Seven points for Miller to lead the way for UNCG. Five points for Carlos Dotson, all from the free throw line. Crossover move, kick to the corner. McCray for three, good. Right side. Now, Trevion McCray does not shoot a lot. He came in tonight only averaging three points per game, but you can see the shooting stroke on that young man. Beautiful three-point shot, and now the answer by the Spartans. Michael Hewitt, Jr., new one of the ball game, the sophomore down in Fayetteville, comes in and comes up with a big bucket. But you talk about McCray, 13 points in his first-ever start that came against Mercer. Up and under, move by Tyler Harris is good. And the speed and the pace starts to quicken just a little bit. More what Western Carolina would want, averaging 81 points a game. The Spartans content to wear and tear. Ground and pound, holding teams under 60 points. Isaiah Miller can't connect on a pop-off three-point shot. Catamounts have led since the opening bucket. Right side, Steger 0 for 2 to start the game from long range. And now he slips as he tries to stop going through the lane. And another turnover for Western Carolina. Langley in for the Spartans and Halverson returning now for the Catamounts. Also Caleb Hunter back on the floor for the Spartans. Just the third turnover for Western Carolina. Again, this is UNCG team, very good. Fifth in the nation when it comes to turnovers forced per game. They're forcing their opponents into over 19 turnovers per contest. And again, that was a number that Western Carolina last year would have taken as they were up around 20 plus per ball game. Dribble penetration from the right corner. Back to Miller, three point shot, good. Isaiah Miller, 10 points already in the double figures for the 19th time this year. And a legitimate candidate for player of the year in this conference along with Mason Faulkner and a few others. Trey McCray gets it into Carlos Dotson, who is going to be called for a travel as he started to go up, paused. Thought it was going to be the good up and under, let the shot blocker fly by, but a little happy feet underneath the basket for the big fella. Carlos Dotson checks out, Xavier Cork checks back in. One point ball game, 21 20. Spartans looking for their first lead of the game now. Again, Western Carolina has led by as many as seven in the opening half. Whoever has the chore of guarding Isaiah Miller, it's a tough one all night long, but how about that move by Allegri? Challenge is inside and puts it off the window for two. Allegri only averaging seven points per game coming off the bench, but as you can see, he gets big points for this team. Bucket won't fall for Faulkner, but right back with it is Xavier Court. After Mason Faulkner had a beautiful crossover move at the top of the key, couldn't hit the step back three. But much to the, to the delight of the home crowd on the moves with the basketball. Catamounts back up by one. How about that move by Miller? He can't finish on the, after the beautiful spin move. Good Doug defensive Elks. rebound here. And Elks with the rebound, new into the ball game. Elks saw his playing time increase in the win over Wofford as his defensive abilities really shine during that game. Otto Steger has misfired twice from distance despite shooting over 55% from long range coming into Southern Conference play. But he takes that one down the midline and gets the floater to go. Good matchup there, Miller on Faulkner. Dickey from the free throw line leads it short. Halverson all the way down, but bumped out in front and will be fouled out on the right rail. 7-17 to go. The Catamounts have pushed their lead back up to three. The Spartans hanging around after getting back into it and led by one during that last exchange. 7-17 to go before the halftime horn. 25-22, Catamounts lead by three.
Download the General Shell My Designs app and build your dream today. Amanda, did you get any work done over the weekend? Of course. I spent all weekend driving towards our goals. It was all work, work, work. Things got really tense. I'll tell you, I had some great ideas flying around the table. I just kept pulling all-nighters. I really think I found what we were looking for. I'd say it was a very productive weekend. I'll bet it was. It's just a short drive to the Paris Cherokee Casino Resort. When you're feeling hungry, you don't want to mess around with a quarter pound meat sandwich. Instead, eat the new half pound roast beef sandwiches. Eight ounces of thinly sliced, tender roast beef. And if you really want a quarter pound of beef, that's cool. Just eat half of one of these. Arby's, we have the meat. Western Carolina leading by 325-22. As the Catamounts have gone with Xavier Cork, they've also had Carlos Dotson in the inside game. Mason Faulkner from outside has dazzled with his ball handling skills. Only two points for Faulkner so far. Very balanced scoring for the Catamounts among these 25 points. Leading scorer Carlos Dotson with five. We talked about the balance to get to 25 there for the home squad. Western Carolina 50% from the floor in the first half. The Spartans at 37%, but uh, right now, Western Carolina with a chance to build on this lead. They've led by as many as seven, and they've uh, pretty much had the lead for all of the first half. Had a one and one opportunity, and uh, Halverson, rather, who is an 86% free throw shooter, missed the front end, did not get the bonus, and the Spartans connect on the other end. Back to this full court press. Catamounts have been very active in going forward to try to beat it. But you talk about how much energy you have to expend to get up the floor as Faulkner gets a runner down the lane, won't get it to go. Put back, though, rattles home. Offensive rebound for Mason Faulkner. Who does come in averaging nearly six boards per game to go along with six assists. And a SoCon best 18.8 points per game. Three-point shot. That one circles the cylinder and falls through for Langley. And we're tied up at 27 with six minutes to go here in this first half. And the Spartans with nine points off the bench here in the first half. Steger left side three. That one circles out. And again, we talked about how hot he had been from shooting downtown. But against UNCG... Over the last two seasons now is 0 for 9 on three-point shots. 0 for 6 last year in the two meetings. Averaged just 4.5 points, 3.5 rebounds. Foul called on Mason Faulkner, a big one there. That's his second personal. He's in also the early going. And Faulkner being held in check as far as his offensive output. Uh, Average is 18 per game right now. Only four points here in the first half. Four points, a couple of assists. Hunter has it stripped away by Matt Halverson and does a good job defensively of retreating. He's going to take it all the way down. Dishes it off to Carlos Dotson who finishes amidst contact down low. That's where the soft hands really aided the big man. Not a good find by Halverson in transition. Absolutely. Five and a half to go. Keyshawn Langley running the point for the Spartans. Very accomplished young player. Double figure seven times in his rookie campaign. Three-point bomb dialed up from the right wing by Galloway. Galloway with eight points. And the Spartans back up by one. Four three of the opening half for the Spartans. Four of 15 from downtown. The Catamounts just two of eight. Big difference there. Dotson down low. Spence can't get it to go. Tyler Harris with the offensive rebound. Dotson splits the double team, loses the ball. And now a reach-in foul going to be called on Doug Elks. Some elbows being thrown on either side down low, but the foul called on Western Carolina. Foul on number 10, Douglas Elks. 
So Elks picks up the personal. Going to be his first personal. And the Spartans an opportunity now to build on this lead. And Jeff mentioned catamounts have led by as many as seven. Spartans a couple of occasions have led by just one point like they do now. Ten points on the day for Isaiah Miller. And Kyron Galloway with eight. Including a couple of three-pointers. Looking for his third. Right wing on the way. That one off the mark. No good. Dotson boards the miss. And the Catamounts can get up the floor without having to contend with that full court press. Dotson loses the handle down low. And another turnover for Western Carolina. That's been the offensive scheme over the last five minutes of the game for the Catamounts trying to get the ball down in the post. But that time... Dotson unable to corral the pass. Good ball pressure by Dotson. Right wing Caleb Hunter with 10 on the shot clock. Long three by Hunter. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound tapped out. Collected by Otto Steger. Right now the Catamounts with a edge in the rebounding battle here in the first half. Dotson tries to dump it off a no-look pass underneath. Ends up going out of bounds. Looked like it might have been deflected on the way through. Officials say no. And just like that, it'll take us to our under four immediate timeout. UNCG hanging in there with Western Carolina, these two teams. Offensive-minded Catamounts, the defensive-minded Spartans. It's a one-point game with 3.35 to go before the halftime horn. 30-29, Spartans in front. The new iPhone 11 runs on Straight Talk for up to half the cost of big carriers. With the new ultra-wide camera, your shareable moments are ultra-shareable. Get the new iPhone 11 on America's largest and most dependable networks. Straight Talk Wireless, only at Walmart. It's a 13-hour flight. That's not a weekend trip. 15 minutes. Oh, wow. I'm going to take off. Now, you downloaded the TD Ameritrade mobile app so you can quickly check the markets? Yeah, actually, I'm taking one last look at my dashboard before we board. Excellent. And you have Thinkorswim Mobile? So I can finish analyzing the risk on this position. You two are all set. Have a great flight. Thanks. We'll see ya. Ah, they're getting so smart. Choose the app that fits your investing style. Tonight, Chef Jeff will show us how to prepare. What are we making here? Peanut butter on a spoon. How do you do this? Come in here, Guillermo. Just dip your peanut butter, and then you put it in your mouth. Oh, you're a genius. It's really creamy. Spend every night with Jimmy Kimmel. Weeknights on ABC. Showtime. Uh. It's all about number seven. It's all about Vic. It's a new day. Vic turned himself in today. I wanted to know the truth. I took advantage of the moment. We all did. Built on the pride of Cincinnati and the soul of its fans. Built to welcome the ATP and WTA stars to the Queen City. Get your tickets today. Witness the glory of the Western and Southern Open, part of the U.S. Open Series. Built for glory. UNCG has forced Western Carolina into seven first-half turnovers and only turned that into six total points. On the other side, Spartans again one of the top teams in that takeaway margin. Only two turnovers so far. Catamounts have gotten four points off of those two so far. And again, it's really been the Isaiah Miller show. He's got 10 points, eight for Kyron Galloway, including a couple of three-pointers to lead UNCG. We talked about the Catamounts and the pregame uh, hitting 10 threes. They've done a lot of damage though in the paint here in the first half. 18 points coming in the post. Three-point shot off to the left-hand side. Long rebound chased down by Dickey. Right side, Galloway is going to miss just off the front of the rim, and Tyler Harris able to pull down the rebound for Western Carolina. Mason Faulkner on the bench with a couple of personal fouls. Not sure how much he'll play here in this last three minutes as Dotson powers and bullies his way in for a pair. So again, the Catamounts going down low for a bucket. Western Carolina now again with a narrow lead. Yeah, 20 of Western Carolina's 31 points have come from the painted area. Also doing a great job on the boards. Catamounts with a nine-rebound advantage here in the first half. Three-point shot, top of the key, no good. Dotson boards the miss. The big number, only three offensive rebounds for UNCG, and that's what they pride themselves on is getting those second chances. Well, they only have four second-chance points. Dotson gets that one to go. The up-and-under move underneath. 
They've gone to him early. They've gone to him often. The big fella on the border of getting into double figures, he's got nine. And that time, James Dickey let him get to where he wanted to go, and that was get the ball back to his left hand. And now if he can knock down the free throw, we'll put him into double figures. Five of his nine points have come from the free throw line, but he's been down low multiple opportunities. Transferred into Cullowee from Central Florida Community College, and Daniel, he's had an outstanding career uh, at both the college and the university as uh, a 1,000 points plateau for Carlos Dotson. Recognized earlier tonight for surpassing that in his collegiate career. Free throw good, 10 points for Carlos Dotson. And the lead back to four now for Western Carolina, largest margin they've had since the early on seven-point edge inside the game's first five minutes. Isaiah Miller raises up off a tight ball screen. He is that good. Great mid-range jumper by Isaiah Miller. Really look forward to the matchup he against Faulkner. Right now, as McCray dials it up for his second triple of the night. You can see his confidence growing with these made long-range threes. He's got two of Western Carolina's three three-pointers so far. And he draws the short straw of having to try to keep up with Isaiah Miller. And that's going to be, let's see, an offensive foul on Miller pushing off on Trey McCray. And that'll be his second personal. So now the two impact players, Faulkner and Miller, with two apiece. And how about Trey McCray drawing the foul on that young man? And again, some of the... I would say two of the top three guards, in my estimation, two of the top five, at least, are on display here. And how about Langley picking the pocket of his counterpart freshman? Lay up the other way is good. Well, the theft and the finish by Langley, and that's a big bucket, Daniel. It pulls the Spartans back within three, and now another giveaway by the Catamounts. And the lob up the floor and the easy lay-in, and just like that, Spartans back within one. Quick turning defense into offense. And a timeout, I think, taken here by Mark Prosser, trying to figure where it all went wrong. Catamounts in helter-skelter mode up and down the floor with 109 to go. We're looking to build on a four-point advantage or a five-point lead, and now see it back to one just as quickly as they got it up to five. Yeah, they were at a five-point lead. You had McCray coming down across the timeline and Langley with the uh, the pick, then the bucket, and then the uh, uh, careless ball handling by the Catamounts led to another Spartans bucket. And that's just kind of the way the first half has gone. We've had three lead changes, two ties, and the biggest lead of the way was a seven-point Catamount lead early on, 11-4. So 109 to go before we get to the halftime horn. The Catamounts will regroup using their first half timeout. So 109 to play before intermission. And the top two players on either squad looking at scoring, Isaiah Miller and Mason Faulkner, both with two personal fouls apiece. Langley doing a good job on the ball, working against Trey McCray. And now Kyron Galloway will cap crash through. A dribble hand off right side. And now Otto Steger will go to the free throw line. Four points on the night for Steger, 0 for 3 downtown. Catamount's just 3 of 10. I'm not sure which is more of the surprising number that the Catamounts have only made three. Talked about first half against Wofford in their last time out. The Catamounts had nine made three-pointers in the first half. Or is it just the ten attempts? Is that the surprising number? Because the Catamounts come in averaging over 20 attempts per ball game. Well, again, talking about their philosophy here in the first half, it's been getting the ball down low to Carlos Dotson, and uh, he's taken advantage of that. Yeah, 22 of 39 points from the paint area. Kobe Langley 
Kicks it back. Allegri long three. Good. We'll tie the game at 39. I tell you, I really like that young man's game, and that's a beautiful bucket and a key basket here late in the half, and we have another tie in Cullowhee. About six made three-pointers by the Spartans in the first half. But another foul will put Western Carolina at the free throw line. Double bonus time for the Catamounts. High pressure defense. You got to think at 39 39, this game perhaps more on the side of what Western Carolina would want if you're going to be up above 40 points or thereabouts. McRae 70% at the stripe coming in tonight. A little short on that one. Yeah, McRae has not been to the line all that often. Hunter and Miller return to the Spartans lineup as Langley will exit. So a 28.3, Isaiah Miller with the two personals back in. Both Langley's exit. Second free throw by McCray is good. We'll break the tie, 40-39. And now Isaiah Miller and the Spartans can hold for the final shot. Shot clock off here. What could likely be the final possession of the first half. Miller content to dust it off between the circles. Ten on the clock, they go. Massey to Miller. Back to Galloway for three. That one rattles halfway home and pops back out. And they're going to wave off the shot. They may go look at it. Allegri trying to get the offensive stick back for second chance points. If it goes, it's 40. Just three of ten. They've turned nine Western Carolina turnovers into ten points. Second chance points haven't really been there for either squad. Only five for Western Carolina and four for UNCG. You're right. And the Catamounts, I think, uh, you know, doing a good job basically with the ball handling. They're on pace for their seasonal average for turnovers. But you look at UNCG, what they did in that opening half, only three turnovers. So A++ for the uh, Spartans with a guard play uh, handling the basketball. And as we talked about defending from distance, the Catamounts have not really taken that many three-point shots by comparison. UNCG has shot it from long range 23 times, only 10 attempts for Western Carolina. Only three of those have fallen. Otto Steger, who takes the inbounds pass, had been the guy they kind of bounced look to here in conference play, making over 56% from distance, This firing on three opportunities in that opening 20 minutes. Kind of bounce in the home white, UNCG in the road blue. Western Carolina with a one-point lead and the basketball to start the second half. And this time it goes right to the corner. And Matt Halverson on the assist from Mason Faulkner will dial it up from distance. Well, he's Cullowee's version of Matty Ice, and that's a big three. We've talked about the uh, fact that he often gets streaky with that three-point shooting. We didn't see it in the first half. Let's see if that propels Halverson on a big run. Well, he's got six points, all of it from downtown. Now a foul going to be whistled on UNCG on James Dickey, and Western Carolina will get it back with a four-point advantage, 43-39. I thought they called it on 21. Looking at the side there, instead looks like they might have whistled. Yeah, his second personal. McCray in transition. It's going to be fouled on the way to the basket. The Catamount's pushing tempo a little bit. Malik Massey picks up the personal foul, and Trey McCray will go back to the free throw line. The freshman for Western Carolina out of Timmonsville, South Carolina. And just 71% of the strike this year. Can't connect on the opener. And a good look at McCray just coming right down the midline, and a couple of players swiping for the basketball, and foul called. Western Carolina from the free throw line, 9 of 13. Second attempt, that one won't go. Missed them both. So the chance for the Catamounts here to try to stretch that lead here in the early going of the second half, not coming to fruition. They do have the big three-pointer by Halverson. Let's see if one of the uh, points that Coach Wes Miller addressed with his team at halftime was the rebounding edge as the uh, big board there by UNCG. 
Left side three by Langley won't go, and Dotson pulls down the rebound. And now misfires and turns it over in the midcourt. Good job by Dickey, able to deflect the ball to a teammate. Langley looking for Dickey down low. Got a deflection, but it deflects last off of James. Dickey's hands and out of bounds. Pass was coming right to him down low. He was all alone looking forward to the two-hand flush. And ended up having it deflect up. Off target. Off his fingertips and out of bounds. Kind of bounce will have it back here, 43-39. Early on here in this second half, 18 and a half to go. Mason Faulkner, only four points. Three assists, a couple of fouls picked up there. We'll try his hand in a three-point shot long range, no good. Get another board here by the Spartans as Hunter down with the basketball. Isaiah Miller on the other side with a dozen, looking for 14, can't go. Spartans Rebound. 0 for the second half, yet to score. Isaiah Miller picks up Travion McCray. Back to Dotson. Abdul Salam on him. Dotson gets to the midline. Shot no good, but Ano Steger. There to pick up the loose change. Second chance opportunity on the offensive board. He's able to cash it in for Deuce. Stick back by Ano Steger. He's again one of the three point threats on this team. Faulkner tangled up on a big ball screen by Abdul Salam. Big fella gets it down low, now loses the contr control on it after it's knocked away by the Catamounts. Spartans will get it back with just two on the shot clock. My money would be the ball's going to the guy wearing number one, back of that line, Isaiah Miller. They lob it in, Miller. That's where it was going, and he can't connect. Went to the other number one. And McCray turns it over the other direction. Unforced errors by Western Carolina, just not playing within rhythm. And another turnover gives it back to UNCG. Tenth giveaway on the night for the Catabounds. And have missed some golden opportunities here to build this lead that sits at six points. They could have had a double-digit lead from the free throw line, and of course that an uncontested layup. Caleb Hunter trying to make the Catamounts pay. Up and over the top of the backboard. And UNCG shooting woes here in the second half continue. Yeah, the Spartans now over three minutes without a bucket here to open up the second half. Keyshawn Langley checks in. But at the same time, the Catamounts have not been able to build on an advantage. It's a 5 nothing run to open up the half by WCU. Good pressure defense by the Spartans. 13 on the shot clock as Trey McRae goes to work. Backside, Steger looking for his first triple. That one won't fall. And Steger, who had been lights out in SoCon play, having all kinds of issues here. Hunter trying to break the schneid, can't. McCray in transition. That one won't fall. And another empty trip for Western Carolina. And another big defensive board by UNCG. Abdul Salam gets free down low and he'll draw the reach in foul. And he'll be at the free throw line on the other side of this timeout. Under 16, timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 45-39. Western Carolina in front. But the Spartans hanging around here in the second half in this critical SOCON matchup.
Now get 0 for 72 or get 11500 in total savings on select F-150s. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Five thirty-nine against UNCG, a critical game in the SoCon race. Daniel Hooker alongside Jeff Bryson here. UNCG with the basketball, trying to trim this margin down. And Isaiah Miller will do just that out of the timeout. So that bucket gets the Spartans off the schneid here after halftime. And again, the Catamount lead starting to evaporate down to four. Matt Alverson right side, three-point shots good. Alverson with two big trays here in the second half. Has really been the bulk of that outside game for Western Carolina. He's got three, a couple by Trey McCray. Dotson right now on the bench for the Catamounts. You see Xavier Cork controlling the inside. Good box out by Tyler Harris. Catamounts doing a good job of winning the battle of the boards, keeping UNCG off the offensive glass. Six offensive boards for both teams. Dump off inside. Faulkner finds Cork for the easy deuce. Timeout taken by Wes Miller as the Catamounts have built it up now to a game-high nine-point advantage. Nine-point lead for Western Carolina just inside of 15 minutes to go. The Spartans responded well to a first-half timeout. We'll see how they respond after this second half called timeout. Mason Faulkner dropping the dime. Cork, the beneficiary. You know I'd love to be there. It's just super far. It's not that far. We have unlimited data. We can chat all we want. I'm comfy. Uh, but it's like... 10 feet. Like I said, super far. With TD Ameritrade, you've got courses, tools, and help from pros. It's almost like you're training me to become an even smarter, stronger investor. Exactly. Style training montage? Yeah. Happens all the time. I'm here to announce my retirement from sports. The pressure it takes to play at nine is not what I expected when I started at five. I'm done with parents being a part of my every move with the coaches that think I'm not strong enough. I'll miss my teammates, but I obviously can't compete at this level. Any questions? Just a few ticks left on the clock. Lillard checking the inbox. He's got to open up a new draft. Got to be careful with typos and punctuation here. There's no time to edit and resend. And send! Another gorgeous buzzer-beating email. Just remarkable. Key matchup in Southern Conference play. It's even got Baby Yoda here in Cullowee tonight. You see it Wofford in a tight battle there. In-state rival the Citadel, ETSU. Trailing Mercer in the second half. The Bears playing extremely well. VMI trying to knock off Furman. And, of course, if those scores could hold, the two teams playing in this one could, might move up in the Southern Conference standings. What's been a very tight race to this point. It's going to be interesting to look later tonight and see how the standings shuffle out. Miller with the right hand. Raises up. Shot won't fall. Rebound kicked out. Offensive board for the Spartans. Three ball, trying to get second chance opportunities. They can on that one, but how about another turn? Could the third time be a charm? Miller with 15 on the shot clock after the 20 reset. Backing his way down, kicks it across. Keyshawn Langley. Allegri, his shot won't go. Miller with another offensive rebound. A whole game's worth of offensive rebounds in one possession. Langley, Hunter. Miller, step back three. That one won't go, and the Catamounts will escape. Four great opportunities for UNCG. Yeah, they were doing a great job with the 
offensive boards, but the second, third, fourth chance opportunity would not drop. And now Xavier Cork with the flush. And the Catamounts have their first double-digit lead of the night. I'm not sure how Faulkner dropped that one off underneath into the briar patch. Xavier Cork able to connect with a two-handed jam. First double-digit lead for either side. Abdul Salam gets free and lays it up and in. Good move by the big fella. Yeah, excellent post play there by Abdul Salam. And again, with the made buckets coming few and far between, hard to get that full court press on for UNCG. Catamount's able to get it back just across the time. But only 13 as the offense gets started. Now Abdul Salam with a takeaway at the other end. 11th Catamount turnover. Just as Western Carolina had built their lead to double digits. Abdul Salam takes it down Main Street and lays it up and in. Only in double figures one time. Ten points against Furman. He must like seeing purple on the other side. Yeah, those are back-to-back -back beautiful post plays by Abdul Salam. And now Catamounts against Sloppy with a basketball as the turnover starting to mount for WCU. That's a number dozen. 11. That's a dozen now. Check it, 12. 12 turnovers for Western Carolina. Right after the lead had gone to a game high 11. So Dotson back in the Catamount lineup after Cork spelled him. And Greensboro trying to knife back into the game. They fell behind by 11, but now have closed it down to 7. McCray chasing Miller everywhere on the floor. Allegri driving down will be bumped out in front. And they'll get the foul on Tyler Harris with the body. And UNCG will have a fresh 20-second shot clock. So Dotson back in for Western Carolina. The only catamount to reach double figures for Mark Prosser's squad with a dozen. Nine points for Halverson. Steger now with eight. Isaiah Miller with 14. Kyron Galloway, who just checked back in, with 10. Malik Massey with a turnaround jump shot. Can't connect, and the Catamounts will escape another opportunity for the Spartans to claw back closer. Inside, Dotson blocked by Galloway. Beautiful defense down inside. So much of the defensive praise gets heaped upon the guards for UNCG. And the job they do coming up the floor in the full court press. But back line erasers, James Dickey and Kyron Galloway. Dickey with an offensive rebound. Massey all alone, three-point shot, no. But another offensive rebound. Galloway co oh, almost connects halfway home. And it popped back out. Been a tough shooting night, clearly, for the Spartans. 36% for the floor for the game. Faulkner with Dickey on him. Step back shot. Will not fall. Faulkner has struggled tonight. Only four points. Has six big assists, but only four points for a guy averaging nearly 19 a game to lead the Southern Conference. Over 20, he and Isaiah Miller both. Over 20 points per game in conference play. Daniel, despite the shooting woes, only 19 made baskets out of 52 attempts. Greensboro only down by seven here with lots of time left in the game. And a wide open Langley on the right side. Three ball on the way, just off the back rim. Perfect on line. Halverson in transition. He'll try his hand at a three. That one no good. Tyler Harris with the offensive rebound. His stick back won't fall. Lids on the basket here in Culloway on both ends. But Harris draws the foul down low, and he'll have a couple of free throws. 10.33 to go in this one. Top half of the Southern Conference keeping check tonight as UNCG and Western Carolina duke it out in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Seven-point catabout lead halfway through this second half. These are the student athletes. This is where they battle. These are their home. 
This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. This is where titles are forever. This is the Southern Conference. It's game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. It's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. I decided in middle school that I wanted to be a forensic scientist. An engineer. A teacher and probably a coach. I think I want to start my own business. This is what I want to do every day for as long as I can. I just want to try new things. I want to win. Always. I work best under pressure. I just want to be on stage. I haven't decided what yet, but I want to be great at it. Ten and a half to go from the Ramsey Center in Cullowhee. A close ball game, 52-45. Payson Faulkner has struggled. Xavier Cork has a couple of two-handed flushes thanks to Faulkner tonight. He's on the bench now. Carlos Dotson back out for Western Carolina. Tyler Harris will be at the free throw line as we come back live. Seven-point ball game, ten and a half to go. Spartans, after halftime, only three of 18 from the floor. Catamounts a little better at five of 12. Free throw for Tyler Harris. Front end is good. We'll have one more. Tyler Harris right at 79% from the stripe on the year. Freshman out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Second free throw. That one good as well. Part of the tremendous upside that Mark Prosser has brought in. Freshman well, you movement. Talk about McCray, Harris, Cork. You're getting some outstanding freshman play. And one of the better ones, Amir Langley on the bench. Sitting out this year after starting the season with injury. Langley, three-point shot won't fall. Offensive rebound picked up by the Spartans. Galloway, second chance point, good. And right now, UNCG is owning the boards inside. They've got a dozen offensive rebounds. The Catamounts with just seven. It feels like the, all of those uh, 12 rebounds have come in the last five minutes of the game. They have just been on three possessions. Yeah, absolutely. Been uh, right on top of the offensive rebounding here over the last five minutes or so. And now a traveling violation out in front. Whistle on Trey McCray. Spartans have six offensive rebounds, make it seven offensive rebounds here in the second half. They had just five over the opening 20 minutes, and halfway through this second half, they've doubled that. Good battle here. We talked about it at the outset. James Dickey against Carlos Dotson. Kyron Galloway, the X Factor. Three ball, good. Kyron Galloway. In double figures now with 15 points to lead all scores. A four-point edge now for Western Carolina. Western Carolina had built that lead up to 11 with some sharp shooting and some good rebounding by the Spartans, and they have a chance to trim that lead down further now. Another one knocked away inside defense for the Spartans. And they're doing it on the defensive end. Defense and offensive rebounds. Those have been the things that have kept this Spartan squad afloat. They got a mismatch here. Dickey on Steger. Got to the midline and bullies his way in for a deuce. And just like that, it's a two-point game, 54-52. Spartans showing they can do some damage in the paint. The last two buckets coming from mid-range down low, and the uh, Spartans... Timeout taken. One possession game now. Yeah, timeout taken by Western Carolina. Wanting to talk things over with 8.32 to go. Galloway with 15. Miller with 14, leading the Spartans now. And for the Catamounts, the only player double-digit scoring is Dotson, but the Catamounts getting a little more balanced scoring up and down the stat sheet. And yeah, nine points for Matt Halverson, eight for Anno Steger, eight for Xavier Court, seven by Trey McCray. But the big story is Mason Faulkner, 
who has been in double figures in all but one game this year. Same with a headband in between Monty Sanders and Mark Prosser in that last shot of the Catamount huddle. Only four points coming on two of seven shooting. Oh, four from downtown. Now, he's very capable as he showed in the win over Wofford. The Catamounts picked up last Saturday of taking over down the stretch. He wanted the ball in his hands and the Catamounts obliged. And he was able to make some big plays over the closing moments. But right now his team needs him to pick up the scoring. If they're going to have a chance to knock off this Spartan squad that ranks sixth in the collegeinsider.com mid-major poll. McCray tries to dump it off inside. Very tough pass. Last touch by UNCG, only five on the shot clock. Talk about this Western Carolina squad doing a good job. 12 assists on 19 made buckets, but sometimes you need to be a little unselfish is what Mark Prosser is saying. And Stop trying to make such a difficult entry pass. McCray with three with two. Steger has to rush the three. That one off the mark, no good. And he has continued to struggle here tonight. 0 of 5 from downtown. 0 for 11 in the last three games against UNCG. Spartans on a big run now, and they're going to try to cap it off here by getting the lead back. Galloway nearly travels with the ball. The ball's going to be stolen away. Miller just picked up his third in the scramble. Fouls on Osteger. Fourth foul on UNCG. Third whistled on Isaiah Miller. 7.49 to go as we head down the stretch. Western Carolina clinging to a two-point lead. They'll have the basketball and that advantage when we return. Gatorade Zero, all the electrolytes, zero sugar. Boom, and I really care what my mom can do. Bulldozer, make room. Write that pun for me too. Ready for more? Bring it on. Gatorade Zero, get more out of zero. Introducing Wendy's Two for Five, the only two for five with Wendy's fresh, never frozen beef and the spicy chicken you crave. Choose from the Dave Single Spicy Chicken Sandwich, 10-piece crispy, or spicy nuggets. Pick any two for five bucks, only at Wendy's. You leave it to me. I'll get your taxes in an okay place. What? Well, just as soon as my audit is over. This gets my undivided attention. Take a lot of trips to the islands, Phil. Pretty great, right? Oh, Phil's legally dead. Fell off a boat. Going by Dennis now. Solari. <laughs> Long story. We got, oh, no. We're not going to want to see this. Let me I don't think this is going to work. Just okay is not okay. AT&T has America's best network, now with our best plans at our best prices, starting at $35 a month per line for four lines. New from AT&T. It's a 13-hour flight. That's not a weekend trip. 15 minutes oh, away. Wow. we got to take off. Now, you downloaded the TD Ameritrade mobile app so you can quickly check the markets? Yeah, actually, I'm taking one last look at my dashboard before we board. Excellent. And you have Thinkorswim Mobile? So I can finish analyzing the risk on this position. You two are all set. Have a great flight. Thanks. We'll see ya. Right. Ah, they're getting so smart. Choose the app that fits your investing style. Fifty-four, fifty-two. Western Carolina in front. Jeff Bryson talked about it earlier. Andre Gray in that huddle for UNCG. He knows a thing or two about games in the Ramsey Center. He was a part of Western Carolina's staff under Larry Hunter, 2008-2011. On the staff now in Spartanburg, in, uh, with the Spartans in Greensboro. Also on that bench, we've talked about Tom Tankowitz, a sharpshooting three-pointer expert, as now Malik Massey fouls Mason Faulkner. Do want to say hello to Tom Tankowitz's granddad, Robert Rick, tuned in. Says Tom did before the game as we caught up with him. Asked him his impressions about coming back into this building where he had such a successful career under with Larry Hunter. And as a player, now as the director of basketball ops, that mixed emotions every time he walks back into sure. the Ramsey Center over the last four seasons that Tankowitz has been down in the Gate City. So he could hit the uh, big three during his time here. And another takeaway here by the Spartans. Massey in transition, blocked by Faulkner, but he'll pick up his third personal. And another giveaway. Catamounts now have coughed it up 15 times. Yeah, that stat is getting ugly. Yeah. 
It's what UNCG does. They force teams into 19 or more turnovers a game. And Malik Massey at the free throw line now for the Spartans for a couple of shots, 69% on the year. First one, good rotation, looks good. 28 of 40 on the year for Massey. Massey, one of the uh, outstanding seniors on this team. We talked about how much success the senior squad has had. Malik coming to the Spartans out of Charlotte, North Carolina, playing at North Hampton Prep during his days in Mecklenburg County. Fourth tie tonight. Both free throws good. 54-54. Game closing in on the wheelhouse, and now reach-in foul on Allegri, sophomore from Kansas City. Wes Miller, one of the few times this year that he has had a full complement. All of his players on the bench, all of his players that have played most of this season active and healthily and active. Most teams go through that injury bug at some point during the year. Catamounts have seen it, missing Carlos Dotson for one game against ETSU. Dotson down inside, can't connect, gets the offensive rebound. Trying to go back up with it. Now he's going to be fouled by Abdul Salam, the sophomore from Nigeria. And Dotson just battling down low. Finally was able to draw the contact he was looking for. We talked about his struggles at the free throw line during his career. Big free throws upcoming here for Dotson. Misses the front end of two. Six of eight now from the stripe tonight. Chance to break this tie and give us our fifth lead change, but unable to connect. It's Carlos Dotson with the left hand. Second one's good. Five lead changes now. Cat amounts by one, but Spartans can reclaim the lead. They've only led a couple of times tonight by one point. The Cat amounts have led by as many as 11 and missed golden opportunities at the start of this half when the Spartans struggled to open the half shooting to pull away and buy double figures and more. Abdul Salam with a nifty move to the basket. He lays it up and in. Six points on the night. Unusual to see the Spartans going down low. They've attempted 35 threes in this game. But now they're finding success in the, in the paint. Dotson kicking it out to Steger. Three would have been huge if he could have knocked one down, but he can't connect. And Otto struggling for Western Carolina. 0 for 6 tonight. Other end, Massey, three ball, rattles home, good. That's only the eighth made three of the game, but that's a huge bucket for the Spartans as they now have their biggest lead of the game at four points. 59-55, Spartans have battled back there in front by four. They've won seven in a row against their in-state SoCon rival, Western Carolina. Looking for number eight. And since the Catamounts had that 11-point lead, the Spartans have answered with a 19-4 run. Trey McRae will run the point for the Catamounts. And three-point shooting for Western Carolina, just 5 of 19. Dump off inside to Dotson, who powers through contact to put it up and in. Back within two for all the Catamounts at 59-57. But now it's Western Carolina that's looking at the other end saying, we got to do it with defense. Here's our secondary matchup to watch. Dickey against Dotson. Miller, floater won't go. Dickey offensive board. His layup's good. Can you talking about Dickey? Only gets eight points per game on his average, but what huge baskets he could he converts for the Spartans team. Got him out, Steve Mason Faulkner to catch fire as he only has four points. McCray just kept the foot. Halverson has three three-pointers tonight. Halverson, three-point shot. That one off the mark. And no answer and a four-point lead. Spartans looking to build. Dickey runs the floor, gets the easy layup in transition. UNCG hung around despite all kinds of struggles to start this half. And they've got a 
63-57 lead with four and a half to go here in Cullowee. Steger trying to get something going offensively was sliding down and he'll be fouled by Angelo Allegri. Steger a 75% free throw shooter. Now three of nine from the floor. They've all been two pointers. Eight points on the night for Steger. 0 of six from downtown. Let's see if they're going to change this to a one and one. Yeah, I said he was not in the yeah. act of shooting. He was driving, but had not yet made the move towards the basket. Correct call. So a one and one free throw opportunity. Steger can't get the bonus free throw, and free throws are killing Western Carolina tonight. 12 of 19. And they're the better free throw shooting team on the year, collectively, between these two. Spartans content to run some clock. Isaiah Miller, step back, three ball on the way. Rattles home, good. Big bucket. Spartans are in control in Cullowee at the four minute mark. 66 57. 17 now for Miller. Faulkner drives in, can't connect. Spartans with the rebound. Miller pushing tempo, looking for double digit lead. Galloway spots for three off the back of the rim. Halverson open from the corner. His three is off the mark. Dickey fouled by Dotson. That'll send us to the under four timeout. And UNCG will have the basketball and their largest lead of the night. Nine point advantage for the visitors from Greensboro as they've roared back here. Sluggish out of the gates to start the second half. But Isaiah Miller has led his team back, buries it from distance. Introducing a razor that works differently. The Gillette Skin Guard, designed with a guard between the blades that helps protect skin. It guards against razor burn on the neck and irritation on the face. Get the shave you've been waiting for. Gillette Skin Guard. We made USAA insurance for veterans like Martin. When his wife retired, they buckled down and switched to USAA insurance for low rates and higher standards. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. You know I'd love to be there. It's just super far. It's not that far. We have unlimited data. We can chat all we want. I'm comfy. Uh, but it's like 10 feet. Like I said, super far. Just a few ticks left on the clock. Lillard checking the inbox. He's got to open up a new draft. Got to be careful with typos and punctuation here. There's no time to edit and resend. And send! Another gorgeous buzzer-beating email. Just remarkable. I always thought he lived for the sled. What he lived for was me. Togo! Run! Disney's Togo, rated PG, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Western Carolina had 40 first half points. They've only scored 17 since the halftime horn. UNCG has outscored the Catamounts by 10 to lead by nine, 66-57. As we come back inside the Ramsey Center, 325 to play. UNCG with the basketball and a nine point lead, their largest of the night. Daniel, the Catamounts got sloppy after they built an 11 point lead. They've got 15 turnovers and UNCG has turned the Catamount turnovers into 19 points tonight, so that's a big factor that's helped them build this sizable lead. Content to run some clock, run some offense here. Are the Spartans trying to get out of Cullowee with their eighth consecutive victory in this head-to-head -head series? Miller follows his own shot. Nobody boxes him out, and he gets the 
loose change and cashes it in for two more. Game high, 19 points now for Miller above his seasonal average, and he has been a spark plug for this comeback by UNCG. Catamounts will be at the free throw line. Nine fouls now on UNCG, but it's not really been a welcome sight tonight. Just 63% for the strike for Western Carolina, 12 of 19. Only five made three-pointers tonight for Western Carolina. That has been their trade secret, their calling card, if you will. Mason Faulkner has been held to just four points. Give him five as he makes that free throw. Well, this will, if this con continues, this will be his lowest output of the season. Only one of two at the stripe. Five three-pointers, currently the lowest output by Western Carolina's offense. They've made six or more in every game this year. That six came in a win over UNC Asheville. And Isaiah Miller taking control of this one. Catamounts have not had an answer since losing an 11-point lead. Turnover. Spartans looking to run. Massey fires it up. They're going to say fouled on the ground, says Gary Maxwell. And another turnover for Western Carolina, who's now coughed it up 17 times. So with 2 11 to go, Spartans will have the basketball. UNCG with the basketball and a 70 to 58 lead content to run some clock and content right now to continue to hold opposing teams in check defensively. McCray takes it away from Miller. Halverson from the corner, three shot, misses everything. Dotson with the rebound, blocked by Galloway. Boy, Galloway has just been a defensive force in this game. The alley-oop won't work. Dickey with the offensive rebound. Long pick. Rebound picked up now by the Spartans, and they can run some more clock here. 90 seconds remain, and UNCG well in hand, up by a dozen. Looking for win number 17. And a big road test coming up for the Spartans on Saturday. They'll play in Johnson City against East Tennessee State. Faulkner has it taken away at the other end. More turnovers by Western Carolina. And we're inside a minute to play. All over now except for the final score, I would say, as the Spartans go into four corners. And now James Dickey will be fouled out in front. One and one coming for him. Well, that's just the sixth foul. Beg your pardon. Big time road test for UNCG to come on the road against Western Carolina, who's played extremely well here at home this year. And now Isaiah Miller will be fouled. He'll have the one and one. They led only once in the first half. They started in abysmal state in the second half, uh, unable to score about five minutes into the second half. But once Western Carolina clicked that double digit lead, it's like the Lights came on for the Spartans' offense, and they started uh, not only rebounding better, but hitting those shots that were not falling in earlier in the half. And they're on their way to winning their fifth straight. Miller with a game high, 22 points. And he has won the battle between the top two scorers in the league. Isaiah Miller versus Mason Faulkner. Faulkner with just five points tonight on two of eight shooting. Second free throw, good. And UNCG, fifth straight seasonal win, eighth straight in this series against their in-state rival, Western Carolina. Tyler Harris can't connect down low. And UNCG will get the ball back. When it's gone wrong for the home squad, it has gone terribly wrong. 
Only 18 second half points for Western Carolina. As defense has won out over the top offense in the Southern Conference. And the uh, Catamounts are falling right into that stat where UNCG limits their opposition to around 59 points per game. The Catamounts being held right at that mark tonight. 33 seconds remaining, 72-58. The Catamounts looking to be held to their lowest three-pointers made. Kyron Galloway can't connect, but again, just hustling for the ball. Hunter nearly comes up with it. Right now, the Spartans are going after all the 50-50 balls. They're trying to win every battle for a full 40 minutes. Catamounts led by one at the half, but the Spartans have really slammed the door here in the second. McCray pull up three. That one will not go. And that may be the final way it ends. James Dickey guarding the ball away from Mason Faulkner will bring it across the timeline. And that is how this one's going to come to a close. 72-58, big-time statement by UNCG. Spartans come on the